Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour for Goldcrest Valley 22. Uh, this is a map by Syllabuki, and this is 140.18 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, this thing is, uh, well, go ahead and just read off the uh, description here before we get started. It says, welcome to Goldcrest Valley. This is a conversion of Goldcrest Valley, the base map from FS17. Again, it's a classic map here. Uh, map contains 33 fields, 7 cell points, including train cell point. Wood train cell point, five production buildings, sawmill, six purchasable forests, and new player mode to get a pre-built farm with cow barn, sheep barn, chicken barn, and machines. Have a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and move on from there. So, yeah, this is where we start off at. We're in new farm mode here. This is what we own. We actually also own uh, this sheep barn up here. And then horses are down here, field 27. So we've got a, quite a bit of stuff to start out with. Um, yeah, pretty cool map if we go back in the menu here. Um, there's some various productions dotted around the map and some cell points and stuff like that. We'll try to hit everything on here. I'm sure I might forget something. Oh, we also have cows down there. We don't own that one, though. Maybe we own that one. We probably own that one. Or no, animal deer. Never mind. Never mind. Everything is fine. But yeah, you can see the train loops around, goes there, comes back out, comes around here. So pretty cool to have the train on there. Um, I like that quite a bit. So um, that's always nice. But yeah, moving down from there. Um, I should scroll through all these real quick, so I'm going to do that just so you guys can kind of see uh, where or what places take what. Um, if you want to know more about a specific crop and where it's taken, just pause the video on that specific crop type and you'll be able to see uh, what locations on the map are taking it in case you are curious. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of the easiest way to go about it is going through here instead of going through all of these every time we get across a uh, cell point to see what that cell point takes. This just kind of works a little bit better uh, of a format in FS22 compared to FS19. But yeah, so there you go. That's everything we have. Moving on from there, we have quite a bit of machinery here. Um, we'll take a look at that in the store in a second. $100,000 in new farmer mode. Again, three different uh, pastures here. Is that all the ones that say cow barn, sheep barn, chicken barn, and machines? Yep, yeah, okay, those are the three there. Um, there are contracts on the fields you don't own, and then we don't own any production buildings to start. There are no collectibles, it looks like, on the map either, but that's all that's all fine and dandy. Um, let's go to here, turn that off, and turn that off there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead, and since we are on the starting farm, let's take a look at our machinery here first. That's what we're going to look at first, is the farm. We have a John Deere 4755, 7810, and a Massey Ferguson MF3670. We have a top liner 4090H harvester with a header and a header trailer there. We also have a pickup truck, which we're gonna take for a ride. We have a trailer here. We have a small cultivator, small cedar, small mower, small tedder, small windrower, small forage wagon, we have a baler, and finally, we have a couple of 10-winkle weights there. So, uh, pretty standard stuff. As far as the map goes here, this is pretty cool, I like this. Garage right here, like that. I believe that's in the base game, isn't it? I like the way that thing looks, though. Um, not a bunker cell. Figured it wasn't, but figured I should check as well. Always someone would comment that I missed a bunker cell. Anyhow, over here, we got some more storage sheds. just like that one over there. We have our house right up over here. Sleep there if you need to. Trucks right out front. Around the back here, we got our chickens. 150 chickens there. Some more of our equipment is parked out here. We have this field right here ready to harvest, ready to go. We have some stuff parked out by the fields. Um, we recognize this from base game right here. FS22, the old, that medilla jig there. And right out here we have a silo, it looks like. Let's go to the map just to confirm here. Uh, yeah, up here it looks like a silo, farm silo, beautiful. And that's kind of what we got for starting out stuff. Let's head back down to the house and grab the truck. And we'll do a quick drive around and then do a quick flyover of the map. So that'll be the plan. All right. So best way to get about this, let's see here. We'll probably come out, take a left out of the farm, head up this way. Again, we're not gonna go way down all these roads to see where everything's at, um, but just know we've got a carpentry place out here, grain mill out here. We're gonna drive this way across, up across here, head down here, and then kind of drive through town and probably do the flyover right about here. So we're not gonna stop at every single point on the map because uh, that will take forever. Uh, we're just gonna stop at some of the key points or stop at a couple of points and then try to point everything out as we're going through. So we'll just drive around and kind of do that um, as we go about it. The map looks really nice. It's gonna be, again, very nostalgic for some of you and very familiar to a lot of you who have played on this map um, in the past. Or if you've been playing Farming Simulator for a while, this map has been out, again, on every version since FS17 because someone has made a remake or something of it. Did we go up the long way? We did. I guess we're gonna take this route. <laughs> That's okay, it'll be a nice scenic tour as we drive by stuff. On our left-hand side here, again, we passed by 
um, the carpentry, the grain mill. We have a grain west silo and a grain west silo for the train. You can rent the train there as well. And we have a gas station up here on the right. So we'll keep going from there. It's actually a cool looking gas station. Look at this. Is this intentional, I wonder, that it's supposed to be is it supposed to be grass? I can't imagine that was intentional. I bet you it's supposed to be cement and there's just something wrong with how they had that done or something like that. But anyhow, continuing on. We're not going to lose any sleep over that. We're just going to keep moving along. Keep going down here. Beautiful scenery, too, on the map. The map really does look quite nice. They did a good job on it. Cross over the bridge here. Nice little river through the through everything down there. Is this where I want to, is this where I want to head? Yeah, that would have taken us back down to the main road, which is fine. Beautiful view from up here. You can see, too, as we get higher and higher. I'm sure right up here at the peak, we're going to have just an astounding view. Yep, you can look out over the whole map from up here. I kind of would like to like clear this field out and make a farm up here. It'd be kind of nice to do that. Uh, off there in the right-hand corner, you can see we have um, the right agribusinesses um, sell point right up there. Oh, and actually one thing real quick. There we go. Okay, sorry, I just had to adjust something on my end. There we go. Make sure I can see what I'm doing and everything like that. Continue down here. We're going to continue straight. So off to the left-hand side up here. See, we got a couple other things going on. We go in here. We have a, a wood loading train station right up the road a little bit. And we also have the BGA right up that road. Um, and coming down this way from there, kind of in between the farm and where we're at, uh, we got the bale cell point and we also have our sheep barn over there. Uh, which actually, let's hop over to the sheep barn just so we can see how many sheep it's going to take real quick. Uh, there's the trigger there. Uh, so 150 sheep and then we'll hop back in our truck here um, and then again we just passed by the sawmill that's all that sitting right there and we're coming up on the sugar mill uh, the debris crusher and the maple field mill so that's what we got coming up on us here here we are up there we have maple field mill up there at the top on the left we have the debris crusher and we have the sugar mill so all that set up for us there's a debris crusher right there coming through here this is a cell point, basically it's one of the train cell points going out if we look at the map here. So you can see Elm Creek and Selling Wood Train are the two cell point names right there that we have that are kind of going out of town. So you can see those there. Now as we loop around here, we're starting to head into town. So I'm gonna curve just a quick right to get us up onto the main road. And the town looks quite nice, big old town here. Great if you're doing some role play stuff or anything like that. I do recognize this idea. I remember playing on this thing on FS17. That's the thing last time I probably played on here. Uh, but yeah, up here we have the Rent Train Station, Grain West Silo, Grain West Silo, Lime Station as well up there. Down here we have Gomez Ridge Acres, and then just on our right we have the store, which looks... <laughs> love it. Vehicle shop there, uh, town sell point right there. Um, cow Barn Large down here, Hayloft. Let's go take a look at that Cow Barn Large um, real quick, just to see how many cows again. Yeah, 150 cows up here. Um, we have the spinnery there. Let's drive a little bit further here. We've got the spinnery coming up on the right. We'll take a look kind of at that, just kind of swing through there. And again, we're going to do a flyover at the very end to take a look at everything from above. We might actually curve down this way. See if we can't find out some stuff. Oh, geez. Crash the truck. There's always got to be a ton of fire cop video without a crash, as they all say. That's cool stuff through here. Spinner's right there on the left. And as we loop down here, there's those cows that we were talking about. Loop around this bottom corner here. So right here on the left, we have another fuel station. You can see a fuel station right there. Oh, geez, that was kind of cool to see it on the map bounce back, the truck that is, but. And then we'll loop up around just the last couple of things we have over here uh, before we do our flyover and then wrap up the tour. So again, just a quick tour to give you guys an introduction to the map. So those last couple of things, dairy, bakery, and grocery mart. So you can see the dairy right here, baker right here, and then we got the grocery mart. Oop, I'm just gonna go around this way. Right up over here. Nice big old grocery mart there. So there you go. Uh, looks quite nice. I think the map's pretty well done. Let's go ahead and do a flyover so you guys can kind of get just an aerial perspective, if you will, above the map. Again, looks fantastic from up above. Oh, the traffic flowing everywhere. Yeah, that looks absolutely amazing. The edge is done really well. Everything about this map is pretty fantastic. So pretty well done. Up here in the corner, we didn't really take a look up here at what we had. Uh, but up here, we do have the animal dealer and, excuse me, Mary's Farm cell point. So animal dealer right there, Mary's Farm right there, as far as the cell point goes. 
tunnel heading out that way. Starting farm off in the distance there. We're just going to fly this way. And again, right below us here. Do we stop at this? No, we just talked about it. Carpentry just below us. Um, and then we also have the, is it the gray mill? Yeah, the gray mill just below us there. So yeah, map looks quite nice. Really well done on the map there. BGA down there. I like this chunk up here. What is this down there? A little uh, like water feature dam type setup down there. That's kind of cool. Um, that's quite cool. Really good detail on the map. And down here, we got the nice little lake through here with the streams going on each end. And we're back, we're looping around back into town. Town's pretty big on here, which is nice. And if we come over this way, um, this is where we're going to get over top of our farm right here. So our starting farm is right up here. Right through here, you can see. So um, again, we own all three of these fields, you can see. So one, two, and three, we own all these. That's kind of a nice starting farm. I like that it's kind of nestled up there a little bit on a little of a bit of a, not a cliff, I should say, a little bit up on a plateau there and uh, kind of nestled into the mountainside there, which I like that quite a bit. But other than that, that is the map, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.